Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about virtualization and virtualization technology. Tonight's video presentation is going to be about setting up Snap in a Proxmox container. This is something that I've seen people struggle with, and struggled with quite a bit myself, and only just recently learned how to do. So, with that, let's get over to creating a container and then go through the rest of the process of getting Snap working. So, at our Proxmox web interface, the first thing we need to do to make a container is get an image. Feel free to skip ahead if you already know how to get an image. So, to do that with a default Proxmox installation, we're going to select our server, click our drop down so it looks like so, then select local and select CT templates. Now here you can see that I already have the template downloaded, but if I needed to download the template, I'd click templates, scroll through until I found the one I wanted, select it, and hit download. Now you see that I already have the file so it says task OK. And here's the file. So then we can go create CT, give it a name, Set up our root password. You can leave it unprivileged and nesting is okay. Hit next. Select our template that we downloaded and then press next. I'm just going to use 8 gigs on my storage drive today. Most likely, if you have a default installation without multiple drives, you'll be using your local LVM. Next. One CPU is fine for our project today, but this may differ depending on what you intend on doing with Snap after you have it set up and installed. Memory, again, may differ depending on your project. Network, if you're setting up something like a Nextcloud server or some other package that uses Snap for a server, you probably want to define a static IP address here. You can do that by entering your IP address, and then you have to also apply a CID notation. If you're using a standard home network, it's probably going to be 24. I am going to set up DHCP here. So I just select DHCP, then I hit next, and my DNS settings are going to be assigned by the router, and that's fine. So next. Now here's a chance to make sure all your settings are correct. We can hit finished and Proxmox will create our container. All right, with our container created, we can go ahead and close this screen and find the container over here. We called ours video today. Now, before we start the container and log into the console, let's click options and then select features, edit, and we need to turn on this Foos file system. This will allow the package that we're going to run to install Snap packages on our system to work correctly. If it is not enabled, that package will get an error message and we won't be able to install Snap or later Snap packages. So then we can click OK and we're ready to start the container at this point. Now I'm going to hit console and that's going to bring me up a window of the container. Once it's loaded, I can log in with the username of root and the password that we configured during the setup process. As always, I want to run apt update and I'm also going to do an upgrade at the same time. So I'm going to add two amper stands and apt upgrade with a hook of dash y to tell it yes. I indeed want to do the upgrades. All right, so with our container updated and upgraded, now we need to install two more packages. apt install and the snap installer snaptd and again with the dash y. So now we're going to do the snap install. It is very common to have the snap install fail the first time you try to run the command. 
My understanding is, is this is due to app armor, but they all advise you just to run the command again. Snap, install, and whatever your package name is. Today we're just going to install the hello package as a test package from Canonical. See, there's the failure. We're just going to press the up arrow and enter. There you have it. There is a working version of Hello installed in a container in Proxmox. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video presentation and it allows you to continue on with whatever project you may be working on. As always, have a good night and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.